Time to get in the zone. Auto zone. Yeah. Let's go for a walk and see what they got inside. All right, so Hanes manuals. Hanes manuals are always good to have around for 24 bucks, 25 bucks a piece. I love the fact that they sell you some kind of manual. These gloves, these uh, Derma View, I don't know, I haven't tried them out. The Astro Grip we saw on that Gear Wrench catalog, they look pretty interesting, so I got a pair. Titan, Titan sells some pretty good stuff. They got some, you know, weird little ratchets for sale in case you need them. A mirror, some wire brushes, a magnifying glass, some pistol grip needle nose that look pretty legit. I was looking at those that can crimp and strip and cut. Uh, then of course you have the scraper, I have that. I don't have this one, but I have this one right here. And it's a striking scraper. So if you just want one to get those lower oil pans off with, you totally can. Fairly inexpensive. I love the fact that they sell this kind of stuff here at the auto parts store because when you need it, you need it. Torx bits, tamper Torx bits, some uh, wobble kind of adapters which look pretty legit. Haven't tried them out myself. Uh, and then of course some other little bit drivers and things like that to get some weird spots, especially if you're doing interior work. That's kind of nice. Scan tools. So if you need a scan tool in a pinch, I don't know that these are your best option. You can most certainly find better ones on Amazon. But Innova's not bad. Innova's been around for a while. In fact, this one right here for 100 bucks is one of the ones we gave away at the college. Awesome scan tool. Does live data. You can check readiness monitors. Here's an inspection camera. 70 bucks. That's way cheaper than I paid for my Snap-on. Test light. I have a Craftsman. It works well for me, but 100 bucks for the digital test light. I think I paid less for mine because I got a discount when I was a student. Some uh, real quick down and dirty testers for fuel pressure, vacuum, compression. If you don't want to buy a whole kit, you can pick them up for fairly cheap here at AutoZone. A little jump start thing for your starter. I haven't tried their air tools. Somebody let me know down in the comments what you guys think about their air tools. I think I would probably go with Harbor Freight over AutoZone air tools. That's just me. Battery jump pack maintainer. So these are always handy to have in the car. Your wife will love you if you give her one for Christmas, I'm telling you. Here's another one that I have. I have a Matco version, but you know it's always nice to have something like this that you can trickle charge a battery or jump start your car when it's really, really dead. Here's a bigger one for a little bit more if you own your own shop, not a bad price. Creepers, okay, so we talked about creepers a little bit in the past videos. 40 bucks for one that turns into a chair, maybe, I don't know, kind of caught my eye. Now, absolutely not, 50 bucks almost for this one you can get at Harbor Freight for 28 bucks, forget it. These steel ones, they suck. You'll pinch your arm in the wheels. I, I'm not even going to even go with the mesh one. I've had this stool before, a little bit on the high side as far as pricing, but it is handy, especially with alignments. Here's like a come along kind of puller that you can, you can use for trailer winching. That's always handy. I actually have this engine stand, the CRV engine for the Honda sitting on it right now. It's been on there for months, holds up well. I don't like the way the wheels were tweaked when I bought it. Uh, any rate, here's a, a, an engine leveler, so if you wanted to level the engine as you were putting it in and that was an issue, you could get something like this. I don't know, I've never need a need for that, uh, but it's nice and handy to know that they have that. Eh, 45 bucks. Another little stool that you can use for alignments, a little bit on the prices side. I think I would go to Harbor Freight maybe for something like that. That's pretty expensive. Okay, let's talk about jacks for a little bit. I told you guys these ones kind of suck. Don't bother wasting your money on them. Nobody likes them, okay? So if you're there, don't get it. Air tank. Air tank's good. I think they have a seven gallon here for like, yeah, 50 bucks. I think you can get it far cheaper over at uh, Harbor Freight. The Harbor Freight one worked well. We used it at the dirt track. Awesome to have. I have this cherry picker, 250 bucks, not bad. Two ton, however, it's like $20 cheaper if you get it at Harbor Freight. I'm not sure if the 20% coupon works with it or not. If it does, you get it even cheaper. But, you know, mine's held up. I've used it a half a dozen times here at the house. I bought it at the dealership, and we use it all the time at the dealership. So it's been used and abused for a couple years. Still keeps on ticking. No problems with the hydraulics or anything like that. So as far as I'm concerned, it's two thumbs up for me. Dude, I, I would buy this again for sure. Even if it's $20 north of what you could pay for at Harbor Freight, hey, it works, okay? I've used the shit out of it. For sure. Duralast, the uh, jack stands we were talking about previously. Look, I've had these things underneath this car for like seven or eight months. They continue to hold up under pressure. You know what? If they can hold a car up this dang long, why not? You know, especially if they're fairly inexpensive and you can get them on promo. Heck yeah. 
All right, they also have these little tidbits. So I just took a video clip of some vacuum line, little adapters and things. You guys don't know this all the time. They do have these things at the auto parts store. These things are awesome to have in your toolbox at the house and at the auto shop because when you need one in a pinch, it's nice to know that you have it. You don't have to wait for it to come because let's face it, the parts shuttle drivers are slow. They are super slow. So it's nice to have this shit on hand. Gotta love the fact to do the military discount. Me being a veteran, I love this. And from me as a veteran to AutoZone, two thumbs up on the military discount. I get the same discount as I do as a shop owner or employee. Organizers, so I saw this, I thought this was pretty handy. Nice little go and tow kind of thing. You can throw some quick little stuff in there, toss in the back of your car for an emergency, maybe some electrical connectors, some tape, things like that. You open it up. You get inside, throw some screwdrivers, some bit drivers, things you know you're going to need, some bigger tools in the bottom. Toss in the back of your car and forget about it. It's perfect to have on the fly. I saw these. These looked ingenious. I wanted to get these, so I picked these up today. Three-piece organizer. Look, they're great for several things. You can use them for electric connectors. You can use them for all kinds of tidbits if you're a hobbyist, for RC crawlers, things like that. Do not neglect the fender cover. Your boss will thank you for having one of these. I know they're 25 bucks, but look, they're great to have. Save your boss a paint job. Don't scratch the shit out of the customer's car. The knee pad's cool to have. You can also use it as a surfboard on top of the engine if you're surfing to do a tune-up. Eight bucks, not a bad price. Wobble, wobble socket. So I'm not really sure about these. I haven't tried them out. The thing, the reason why I haven't bought these yet is because it wasn't a complete set. And for what you could buy on Amazon, I just couldn't see spending the amount of money that they were asking for for them. SAE or metric doesn't matter. They were missing some sizes that I thought they should have included. I'm not going to waste my money on those. You guys can give them a shot if you want. These low profile sockets, they are the bee's knees though. I actually had a set. I believe I sold mine. I'm probably going to buy them again. Look, they're great for getting into some tight spots, except especially when it comes to drive belts. Awesome to have. You, you, these are cool, dude, and they work great. So, heck yeah. Allens. Okay, so yeah, I've had my fair share of use of Allens. I thought this was kind of cool because it was a double feature. They had the wobble in, and then they had a flush cut in. You're going to want those at some point. You might not pick this set up, but if you do, look, they cover all the way down to like one of the smallest sizes I've seen out of all Allen sets. And of course, they got the shorter ones too, so that's nice. These adapters, look, they have these uh, wobble universals. I haven't tried them yet. I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know. But these adapters, impact adapters, step up for the price. I don't know. I, I'd lean on Harbor Freight for these. I'm just throwing that out there. I haven't tried them, but I would probably lean on Harbor Freight. 10 bucks for these? No, absolutely not. Those things turn to powder. I wouldn't even waste the money. These extensions a little bit bulky, even though they cover all three sizes, a little bit bulky for me. I do have these, the wobble extensions. Those things are amazing, okay? I've got the full four-piece set. I'll show you here a little bit later on, but I got the full four-piece set, love them. They also offer some other extensions at a reasonable price. I think that's reasonable. T-handle, not impressed. Screwdriver set, not impressed with, look, $5 cheaper than the Quinn set that we saw at Harbor Freight. Uh-uh, I'm not paying 15 bucks for four screwdrivers. Not happening. Nut drivers suck. I would never buy nut drivers. These ratchet wrenches were extremely overpriced. 50 bucks. It's not even a complete set. Absolutely not. Even if they have metric and standard being separated by a color code. Look, dude, you're talking over 100 bucks. Forget it. No, absolutely not. Does not cover enough sizes that you're looking for. Go to Harbor Freight. I like the ones I got there. Okay, these these are these are all right. Now we're back down to the reasonable pricing for a weird and a, a weird kind of elbow shaped wrench. Yeah, you know, 15, 20 bucks, sure. Even the flare nut wrenches. Sometimes you want just a straight, true grit flare nut wrench. But you know, I, I have the uh, crow's feet style, and I love those. But for 15 or 16 bucks, yeah, why not? Those things will work out good. I think they'll hold up. This was interesting. I saw this 10, 12, and I was thinking immediately brake lines, brake lines. 15 bucks for one, I would pay for that, yeah. Ratchets, I love the ratchets that I have. Mine came in the set, but look, if you need a ratchet on the fly, they're the only place open at night, and you don't have anywhere else to go for miles, grab one of them. You're not gonna be disappointed. I wish they offered a comfort grip, but they don't, so it's neither here nor there. They also make some other different styles for those of you that like different style of ratchets or you prefer one style over the other. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but I've, I've loved mine. Mine have held up. I haven't had any issues with them. 
I don't know about this uh, this little gimmicky extend bar one. Thirty bucks. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can kind of dig it. I was kind of digging the way that it had a long handle and it was a flex head and it was 72 teeth. I would definitely pay that over Snap-on for sure. Okay, pliers. So I do have an assortment of their pliers. I don't know how many I have left. We'll look here in a minute. But uh, you know what? For the price you pay, I don't know. It would be a toss-up for me between Doyle and Duralast because I have had good luck with Duralast. I have had good luck with Doyle. I've had good luck with other brands as well. Like I said with the needle nose, sometimes you want a finer needle nose. You're just going to have to play around with it, guys. I mean, this is one of those things. It's your tools. It's something you got to play with. Vice grips, I'm not impressed with their vice grips. Here's some tools that I have. So I have the three-piece, long-reach needle nose, 90, 45, and straight set. Those work out great. I've got an OEM tools from AutoZone, shrimp tool. That thing works great. The 3 8 drive socket set that I bought in a complete 3 8 set with ratchet. Here's the wobble extensions that I talked about. I've also got in the back here the quarter inch set that I bought in a completely separate case and I'll tell you why here in a minute. And then of course there's a three piece uh, organizer tray that I picked up. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. 180 piece set. Wrenches, adapters, sockets, this, that, right? Everything, 100 bucks. Okay, you're thinking great deal until you look closer. And when you look closer, you're gonna notice they do not offer you hardly any deep sockets. Yeah, you get a nut driver, you get some other stuff in here, but Look at the deep sockets, three? I get three and then I get five of the other? That's not a full set, it's not a complete set. Sure, you get spark plug sockets and a universal joint, a couple of adapters. That's not very many, that's not a complete set. I wouldn't do it, not for 100 bucks. But now let's look at something else. Let's say you spend like 80 bucks. You could buy this set right here, this is 55 bucks. Full deep, full shallow, plus uh, special tips, 25 bucks for the quarter inch set, full deep, full shallow, plus extensions. Uh, plus some other little adapter tips. Dude, I'm telling you, 80 bucks. Look at this. It doesn't come. It, it just, look, you can spend 80 bucks and get a 105 or 115 piece set versus spending 100 bucks for a 180 piece set that's missing all kinds of shit that you need. Forget it. No, absolutely not. All right, then I saw these and I was like, okay, 40 bucks. So what's that going to cost me? Because I've got a quarter inch ratchet already, a 3 8 already. But the flex heads look nice, and I kind of wanted those, and I thought it was a good deal. Let's see how good of a deal it actually was, because I was wondering. I'm like, hmm, is it worth it? Well, no. No, it's not. 20 bucks for the quarter inch, and then $23 for the 3 8 so you save three dollars to buy two ratchets. I don't know. I guess you need if you need other ones, go for it. Here's a three-piece organizer set. Why would you want something like this? Well, if you need a little things to put in here, or I'll show you here in a minute. But in the back, you can put electrical connectors in here. You can put solder in here, heat shrink. You could put um, extra wire. You could put tips to your power probe. You could put random sockets, bolts, nuts, washers. But look, it th this is from Harbor Freight. This comes in handy. I use the shit out of mine, and it holds up. It holds up for a long time, but it's always handy to have these tackle box style organizers. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all that I have for this video. Look, I hope you enjoyed walking around with me inside AutoZone. You got a chance to get my opinion and my viewpoint on all this stuff. Look. If you want to piece together your own set like I have, I found that that's the best way if you're going to go with AutoZone or something like that. But you're going to be limited, but it's okay. They do sell some good quality stuff. I haven't had any issues with the things that I showed you in this video. There are some killer deals elsewhere, but shop around, check it out. Look, it's your toolbox. You're building it. Build it the way that you want it to. Film this stuff if you need to. Get an idea of pricing. Flip through the catalogs. Use your discounts. That's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Deuces.